call it the Rosecrans Principle, and it is the number one thing that keeps you from reaching your goals. So, let's find out what it is and how to beat it coming up on today's video. Justin, this is Next Steps Coaching, and on this channel, we talk all things related to mindset, success, high performance, HR, business ownership, anything that helps you get the edge and live the life that you have always wanted. So if this is your first time, or if for whatever reason you haven't subscribed to the channel before, I want to invite you to do that now. So go ahead and click that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and make sure that you stay up to date with everything that we have going on. I have uploaded a number of videos lately, so be sure to go back and look in the video description below and around the channel and make sure you know everything that's going on here. Now, I mentioned at the top that we were talking today about the Rosecrans Principle. So, what is it? Well, quite simply, the idea from this, for this, came from William Rosecrans, who was a general during the Civil War. And he was widely praised for some of his potential and great ideas, and at one point in time during the war held a private meeting with his superior, the future president, Ulysses Grant. And as Grant tells the story in his memoir, he says, I, I had the meeting with Rosecrans and he presented a number of fantastic ideas that all seemed like they would have worked. The only question I had was why he hadn't tried any of them. You see, we can get there ourselves, can't we? We are as high achievers as success-oriented people, we are full of great ideas. We are looking for that next breakthrough. We're trying to find that next edge. We are looking for ways to get ahead. We want to, in all areas and aspects and ways of life, experience success to find joy. And yet, sometimes we don't put those great thoughts into actions. It's the Rosecrans principle. We come up with a great number of ideas and then fail to take action and people around us are kind of left wondering, like they have these great ideas, why don't they actually do anything? Well, the way you counter that, the way you overcome the Rosecrans principle, I mean, obviously is to take action, but for a number of reasons, maybe we don't, right? Maybe we, maybe we listen to fear, maybe we get distracted. Maybe we don't have the right amount of focus or discipline. Maybe we need some new habits or some new people in our close friend circle that will help us take that action. And so really what I want to focus on in the rest of today's video is how you get to that point of take taking action. And here is the number one thing that you need to do to defeat the Rosecrans principle. That as you are coming up with these ideas, focus not just on the how questions, but on the why questions. You see, far too often we get caught up in how questions. Well, how can this happen? What do I need? Who should I contact? Those are all good, legitimate, viable questions that we need to ask. But the reason we fall into the trap of the Rosecrans principle happens when we fail to ask the why questions. Why is this significant? What makes this so important to me? You see, your ability to answer those questions creates the differentiation in your mind that gets you from this is a good idea to here is the strategy and what is at stake if I don't accomplish it. That fills in the gap between great idea and massive action towards accomplishment. So continue in your planning, in your calendar, in your processes to ask those how I based questions. How can I make this happen? But Never fail to ask the why questions. Why is this so important to me? What is at stake if I don't succeed? Because once you can identify that, once you can find your motivation, then action becomes easy. Rosecrans failed to identify the why behind the war. He was fighting, in many respects, somebody else's war. And as the story continues to unfold, this meeting with Grant didn't go well, and he very quickly faded into obscurity. You, you probably, my guess is, haven't heard of him previously. That all of the 
heroes that the Civil War made, out of the, the great transformation that came from our country after that, he was not a part of that unfolding story because he never got the why. So focus on the how, but implement the why. That's the way you find massive success and take that massive action. Thanks for joining me on today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment down below telling me how you are going to implement what you learned today. Be sure that you have subscribed and I will catch you on the next video.